In this video, I am going to show you how to replace a failed switch in a Cisco switch stack. So in this lab, I have two access switches here. They are stacked together. And this is the radial switch. This is a 3750 12S radial. This is a 3750. This is a POE. This is a non-POE. And uh, I have a replacement switch to replace a failed switch in the stack. Actually, uh, there is no failure in the switch, but I am going to pretend one of my switch failed in the stack. And I'm going to show you how to replace that switch in the stack without rebooting the entire stack. Right now, I have only two switch stack, but your stack can be, you know, four switch, five switch, up to nine switches. So, um, it differs depending on your setup. So I am going to move to my uh, CLI and going to show you the current setup I have using the party. So in this video, if you see here, um, I have opened up three sessions. This is my radial uh, CLI connection. This is my access switch CLI connection. This is the console connection to my um, switch here. This is my replacement switch. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my... Uh, so by the way, this is the radial. This is how I am connected to the party. So that's... Uh, uh, so that blue cable is connected to the management VLAN and that's how I have access to all the switch uh, environment here. So let me show you what is the connection I have here. Show ether channel uh, summary. I have an ether channel that is going to this access switch. So the two ports are combined as an ether channel. That's what I can see uh, in this um, uh, radial switch. And show in status. And if you see here in status, and I am connected to port number 10. That's the management VLAN, port number 10 here. And uh, show VLAN. Uh, and uh, this is... Uh, VLAN 225 is the management VLAN, and port 10 is in the management VLAN. All right, so this is my radial setup, and this is my access. Show switch, and I have two switches. First one, this is the master, and this is the slave. This is the member. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to pretend this master failed. That means... This switch is going to become as a master. And I'm going to use this switch to replace this uh, master switch. And I'm going to set the priority as 15 uh, to the replacement switch. However, that will not become as a master until the entire switch reboot happened again, because that is the only time uh, re-election uh, happens for the master. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to power off. So the first thing you have to do when you replace a failed switch is power off the failed switch. If it is completely dead, you don't have to power off. Un just uh, unplug the cable, and then you also have to uh, remove this uh, stacking cable at the same time. So I'm going to power off here, and I'm going to show you what is happening here in my CLI. And the master went down, and if you see here, let's see. Okay, if you see here, there's a small interruption because the master uh, re-election happened. And, uh, okay. 
Let's see. Uh, probably I need to reconnect here. Let me go back. That's 101. Actually, I lost the connection for some reason. Let's see. I am connected to that one. Okay, if you see here, uh, it came back up. Cisco. So, um, you can see what happened really. So, it took a little bit of time for me to regain uh, the CLI access because during that time, this has to become as a master. So there might be uh, a little bit of uh, network interruption, but it's not that long. Uh, so let me show you show, uh, show switch. And if you see here, master has been removed and switch two become as a master. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to remove these stacking cables. Okay, stacking cables have been removed. Also, I have to remove this one uplink. And I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to take this switch. And I'm going to transfer these optics to my other switch here. So the replacement switch has to be the same model. You cannot mix and match. If it is 3750, you have to use a 3750. That's a model. Uh, the minor version can change. Like a, this is a regular switch. This might be a version 2, 3750 version 2. But the major version, that is 3750, cannot change. So I'm going to keep it, this one here. So before I uh, connect this switch here, I'm going to go to my console here. And then what I'm going to do is look at show switch. This must uh, have been uh, from a, a used stack. So it's not a brand new switch. So it must have been pulled out from a, um, a stack. And this is the switch one. And if you see here, there's a switch for provisioning statement. So let me go and remove that uh, conf T. Switch for no. Okay, I think uh, let me see. No, no switch for provision. All right, switch for has been removed from the stack. Show switch and that has been removed. And if you see here, priority is 1. I need to change the priority to 15. Conf T, switch 1, prior, priority 15. So it says changing the switch priority of the switch 1 to 15. Do you want to continue? Yes. And exit, show switch. And if you see, the priority has been changed. So the number and priority has to match the replacement switch. If it is a switch 2 uh, failed and you are going to change it, you have to go to T switch 1, renumber, and then you have to change the number to two. 
but I'm not going to do that because I'm replacing switch one. So that wouldn't change. E exit. All right. So write mem. Right, so I'm going to write this. And then uh, let's uh, reboot this uh, switch. Re reload. And uh, let that to come back up. And then we can put that back into the stack. And then when it come back, I have to connect this one and um, configure this port. Uh, to the port channel. So if you if you look at my uh, radial here, show show ether channel summary, and if you see here, port channel is still up, but one zero three is down. So let me bring this switch back. So when you replace a switch, what you have to do is just uh, remove this cable. I don't need this one. And then what I have to do is I need to, um, I think I pulled out this switch while it was rebooting. All right, so let me, ah, I should not have done that. I'm powering on the switch, but I'm not connecting it to the stack yet. So let me put this cable also back in and to make sure everything come up properly. Also, one more thing you have to make sure is your iOS version has to match the existing stack uh, version. So if I go to my access switch here, show version. Let me bigger uh, this one. Show version, and if you see here, it is uh, 12.255 SC1 SC12, and you are replacement switch also has to have the same OS. Otherwise, it will not join the stack. The version is uh, this one. And I go here, enable, show version. And I have to make sure it is the same version as the current access. So um, SC12, SC9, this is not an issue. Uh, that's uh, just a minor uh, difference, but this is the major uh, numbers that has to match. And these are the same, you know, IP base 9M, IP base uh, 9M. So this should be able to join my stack. So what I have to do is I need to unplug the power first. I'm going to unplug the power and I'm going to take out this one and I'm going to put the stacking cables. All right, so uh, the stacking has been done properly and then I'm going to Put this one, that's going to be here three. And I'm going to power this up. All right, it's powering up. I'm going to, so this is my access stack. I still have it and I cannot use this anymore because I am plugged the cable. So let me close this one. 
Okay. So I'm going to pink, pink 192, 168, 1 dot 100. Okay, it's, uh, you see, it's uh, still pinking. So I'm going to pink continuously my radial while the switch uh, reboots. And uh, that's, uh, Pink repeat say okay I'm going to so it's still pinking uh, without any packet loss while the switch reboots so that means there is uh, no outage uh, for your stack and. So it's booting up, but this won't come up because I have not enabled, maybe, this one. So if you see here, um, while it reboots, there is nothing happened uh, to this one. So let me close this one, or should I close? Let me see how do I break control C. It's hard to break this pink. So let me close this and open back again. Uh, 130. I have two radial connection. So let me open everything again. So 100 is my radial. Show ether channel summary. And huh, it's basically what uh, happened is it's, uh, it's up uh, the connection. So let me go to my access switch and Cisco enable so with the channel summary exactly it's uh, basically it's reconfigured that port um, to the port channel and then let me see show switch as i said you even though this has the highest priority this won't be the master because you see the master is uh, the bottom switch with asterisk that's number two um, and uh, let's uh, look at the port config show int status and um, it's all uh, of them uh, before also they are on vlan 10 now also they are on vlan 10. so yeah so i think um, you can see everything came up as we expected without uh, any problem. Sometimes what you have to do is uh, this interface, you may want to reconfigure the interface from your backup config, but as long as the, the switch stack, everything come up fine if you follow this procedure to replace uh, the failed switch. Hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, so please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also turn on the notification so you will get notified when I release uh, a new video. Also, don't forget to comment, ask your question under the comment section so I can uh, respond to your comments uh, promptly. All right, thanks, bye.